Have you heard of clinical trials? What is it? Does it apply to healthy people? What are its types? This is what you will see in this video. What What's a healthy volunteer? Someone with no known significant health problems who participates in research to test a new drug, device, or intervention as a healthy volunteer, or clinical research volunteer. Research participants include healthy volunteers and patient volunteers. Healthy volunteers provide researchers with crucial data because their health information can be used as a comparison. In some studies, researchers need to compare healthy volunteers with people who have a specific disease or condition. Research with healthy volunteers is designed to develop new knowledge, not to provide direct benefit to study participants. Healthy volunteers have always played a vital role in medical research. When developing a new technique such as a blood test or imaging device, we need clinical research volunteers to help us define the limits of normal. These volunteers are recruited to serve as controls for patient groups. They are often matched to patients on such characteristics as age, gender, or family relationship. They are then given the same test, procedure, or drug the patient group receives. Investigators learn about the disease process by comparing the patient group to the clinical research volunteers. Why are healthy volunteers needed for clinical research? There are many reasons. When developing a new technique such as a blood test or imaging device, we need clinical research volunteers to help define the limits of normal. Healthy volunteers are often matched to patients so that certain characteristics such as age, gender, or family relationship are similar. Healthy volunteers are given the same test, procedure, or drug that the patient group receives. Investigators learn about the disease process by comparing the patient group to the clinical research volunteers. The types of clinical research Different types of clinical research are used depending on what the researchers are studying. Below are descriptions of some different kinds of clinical research. Treatment research generally involves an intervention such as medication, psychotherapy, new devices, or new approaches to surgery or radiation therapy. Prevention research looks for better ways to prevent disorders from developing or returning. Different kinds of prevention research may study medicines, vitamins, vaccines, minerals, or lifestyle changes. Diagnostic research refers to the practice of looking for better ways to identify a particular disorder or condition. Screening research aims to find the best ways to detect certain disorders or health conditions. Quality of life research explores ways to improve comfort and the quality of life for individuals with a chronic illness. Genetic studies aim to improve the prediction of disorders by identifying and understanding how genes and illnesses may be related. Research in this area may explore ways in which a person's genes make him or her more or less likely to develop a disorder. This may lead to development of tailor-made treatments based on a patient's genetic makeup. Epidemiological studies seek to identify the patterns, causes, and control of disorders in groups of people. An important note, some clinical research is outpatient, meaning that participants do not stay overnight at the hospital. Some is inpatient, meaning that participants will need to stay for at least one night in the hospital or research center. Phases of clinical trials. When clinical research is used to evaluate medications and devices clinical trials are a kind of clinical research designed to evaluate and test new interventions such as psychotherapy or medications. Clinical trials are often conducted in four phases. The trials at each phase have a different purpose and help scientists answer different questions. Phase 1 trials researchers test an experimental drug or treatment in a small group of people for the first time. The researchers evaluate the treatment's safety, determine a safe dosage range, and identify side effects. Phase 2 trials the experimental drug or treatment is given to a larger group of people to see if it is effective and to further evaluate its safety. Phase 3 trials the experimental study drug or treatment is given to large groups of people. 
Researchers confirm its effectiveness, monitor side effects, compare it to commonly used treatments, and collect information that will allow the experimental drug or treatment to be used safely. Phase 4 trials post-marketing studies, which are conducted after a treatment is approved for use by the FDA, provide additional information including the treatment or drug's risks, benefits, and best use.